Hi, everyone. My name is Yao Chen. I'm a graduate student at Wuhan University, and Professor Zhenong Chen here is my advisor. And it's my great pleasure to be here to present our work, Mutually Regularized Dual Collaborative Variation Auto Encoder for Recommender Systems. So first, I'd like to introduce some background knowledge. What is an offline recommender system? From a data perspective, it mainly deals with the user item interaction matrix, where each element shows whether the user has interacted with item or the user's rating toward it. And the goal of recommender systems is to predict the missing value of this matrix so that new relevant items can be properly recommended to the user. So metaphorically, the recommendation task is just like filling blanks and different recommender systems are just different solutions to the same missing value prediction problem. One of the most traditional solutions for recommender systems, which has been mentioned in Dr. Cho's presentation, is a matrix factorization. It first iteratively factorizes the observed user item interaction matrix into the user and the item part. Then it reconstructs the missing values by taking the inner product between the corresponding user and item latent variables. So one of the key advantage of MF-based recommender system, which may seem trivial for now, is that it explicitly consider both user and item latent variables to reconstruct the ratings. Because through this strategy, we can view these latent variables as some kind of sockets and incorporate user attributes or item content to as site information to support recommendations. However, the disadvantage is that if we have a new user, for example, the user six here, we observe historical ratings entering the system and begging for recommendations, we have to first iteratively infer the corresponding user latent variable, and then we can make any recommendations to the user. So if we call this process a folding process, MF-based recommender systems are just very inefficient to folding new users. So recently, uh, an emerging solution for recommendation task is called the user-oriented autoencoders, or UAE for short. It first fetches the rating vector of a user from the user item interaction matrix and set the missing values to zero. Then it embeds the rating vector into a user latent variable. Here, it is worth mentioned that if the autoencoder is variational, or VAE for short, the user latent variable is a Gaussian random vector. So then the model reconstructs the rating for all the items from the latent variable and fetches the rating value of previously uninteracted items and make the rank so new re relevant items can be recommended to the user. So the advantage of UAE-based recommender system is that folding new users is actually very, eff very efficient because the inference of user latent variable and the generation of ratings for all items can be done through only one forward propagation of the net network. However, since no item latent variable are explicitly considered in the system, it seems impossible to fuse item side information to support the recommendation of items, for example, with sparse interactions or even code start items. So to summarize, from the previous introduction, we can find that MF-based recommender systems are very efficient to fold in to fuse item site information, but very inefficient to fold in new users. And UAE-based recommender systems are just doing the opposite way. Therefore, we naturally wonder that can we combine the advantage of both models and design a recommender system that is efficient in both fusing item site information and folding new users. So to achieve such a purpose, we propose a mutually regularized dual collaborative variation on encoder, or MDCVE for short, for recommender systems. And the contribution of our method is threefold. First, we made a key observation that the first and last layer of the UE model can actually be viewed as latent item embeddings. So we can fuse item count information in the system to support recommendation. Moreover, we introduced a mutual regularization strategy that tightly couples the UAE weights with item counting embeddings so that they can help each other learn more uh, recommendation-oriented representations and even to be used interchangeably with each other if one of them is missing, for example, due to code start items. And finally, we design a symmetric inference strategy such that um, code start items can be directly recommended without a model retraining process. 
So first, the generative process. Just like the Valina UAE model, multi -UAE, which are user latent variable U from a Gaussian distribution. But in addition, we also model the item collaborative and content information by drawing the item collaborative latent variable Z sub B and item content latent variable Z sub T from two different Gaussian distributions. We then set the item latent variable V to be the sum of Z sub B and Z sub T. Here, please notice that a conditional on ZT, the latent item variable V actually follows a conditional Gaussian distribution with Z sub T as its mean. This is actually a commonly used strategy in machine learning to tightly couple two variables, Z sub T and V. And we will provide more details of this strategy when we, use, uh, when we introduce the map estimate of the latent variables in the following slide. We then use a multi-layer perception with N minus one layers to map the user latent variable into a user hidden representation H sub B to make it have the same dimension with the item latent variable. And afterward, we horizontally stack the latent variables of all J existing items into a matrix with super S and takes the matrix vector product between these two variables. This term actually gave us a J dimensional vector representing the user's preference to each of the J items and we draw the rating vector up from a multinomial distribution as per this work. We notice that this equation actually defines an n-layer MLP built on top of this MLP. We stack latent item variable V super S as its last layer weights and softmax as the activation. And finally, we generate the item content X from the corresponding item content embedding and represents the generative model by the joint distribution of all the observed and latent variables. Here, we make an iterative comparison between the generative process of the Valina uh, UAE model, multi UAE, and the UAE part of the proposed MDCVE model. From these two equations, we can find that the main difference is that the last layer of the Valina multi UAE is actually randomly initialized and optimized based on the historical user rating, uh, historical user ratings. So it actually contains no item content information. And this is very bad for item with sparse interactions or code start items. But on the other hand, the last layer weights of the proposed MDCV model are actually the stacked item, latent item variables, which is also tightly coupled with the item content embeddings. So in our method, the auxiliary item content information can actually be incorporated to support recommendations. Now we introduce the inference process of our model. We use variational inference to get the approximate posterior of the latent variables. Here we use Q sub phi to represent the distribution. And according to the conditional independence assumption of our model, Q phi actually can be factorized into the product of three, three parts, which is the UAE part, the item content UAE part, and the bridge part that connects the UAE and item content UAE because you know, this distribution is actually the conditional distribution of the last layer weights of the UAE model given the item counting embeddings. And according to the uh, variational inference theory, we should maximize the following evidence lower bound to get the posterior. And although it may seem that very, uh, the elbow is very complex, we actually can separate this term based on the user and item part into two different steps. The two steps correspond to the UAE and item VE part of our model. Both of them are composed of three parts. The first part is the expected log likelihood term, which encourages the latent variables to best explain the observations. And the second part is a KL with prior term and a weak decay term, which actually serve as regularizers and prevent the model from overfitting. These two terms are actually common for all VE based recommender systems. However, in our model, we also have this MSE part between the last layer weights of the UAE model and item counting embeddings. This term actually comes from the, uh, this term in the elbow, and it tightly couples the UAE and dual item weight part of MDCV model, constraining them to be close to each other so that they can be used interchangeably uh, if one of them is missing, for example, due to the code start problem. So with a bulk generative process defined, 
we can actually use item content information to support the generation of user ratings from user latent variables. However, given the observed rating of some user, we can still not use the item content information to support the inference of the user latent variable. And uh, so we are just talking about using the item content information to support the inference of latent item, uh, latent user variables. And uh, we decompose the first dense layer of the model into two, two uh, basic operators, which is element-wise sum and embedding. So we can wield the first layer weights of the UAE model as latent item variables and uh, fuse the item content information the same way as the generative process. However, a better method is to reuse the stack latent item variables way in the decoder by setting uh, W as its transpose. Um, because it uh, uh, imposes an extra structure constraint to the model and prevent it from overfitting. Since in this strategy, the encoder is actually a symmetric version of the decoder. So we name our model MDSIMCVE to distinguish it from the, what, the normal model with the uh, normal inference strategies. Uh, so to make predictions, MDCVE uses only its UAE part. So it actually inherits its efficiency to folding new users because you know, the inference of user latent variable and the prediction for all items can be performed in a single forward propagation. However, our model can also make recommendations for code start items, which are items with no observed uh, interactions in the model training phase. So due to the time limitation, we only focus on the online case of code start recommendation here. If you are confused with the differences, please ask them in a Q&A session. Uh, if this item exists for the Valina UAE model, it immediately caused problem because this item never appeared in the training data and adding them into the system actually changed the dimension of the network input, but our network cannot make any reasonable accommodations to recognize these, these items. So the Valina UAE model cannot handle these code start items. However, for our model, since the first and last layer weights are viewed as stack, stack latent item variables, and are constrained to be close to the corresponding item counting embeddings. So all of the ways that correspond to the code start items are missing from the network, we can use their latent uh, feature embeddings as a surrogate to the missing ways in the network. So through this strategy, actually our model can make recommendations to the, uh, for the code start items the same way as the normal items, which is very desirable in industrial applications, I guess, because uh, it induces low latency. So we just briefly go through experiments. The details can be found in our paper. We mainly conduct experiments on three data sets with item features available. And we use the recall and NDCG matrix as to evaluate the model performance. And please note that all our codes and data sets are made public in this repository. So first we compare our model with state of our recommended system on normal item recommendations and find that our method can indeed achieve competitive results. So moreover, we also compare our model with other tightly coupled MF-based recommender system on code start item recommendations. Since our method is UAE-based and can you know, model the nonlinear collaborative formation among users, we find that our method can have a large improvement over this uh, shallow MF-based method on three data set for code start item recommendations. Uh, so to, to summarize, the takeaway information from our presentation is that we introduced a tightly coupled hybrid recommender system called MDCVE that combines the advantage of MF-based recommender system and to, to fuse item count information and UA-based recommender system to efficiently fold in new users. We also introduced a symmetric inference strategy uh, such that the model can directly recommend code start items without a model retraining process. And our experiments demonstrate the effectiveness of the proposed method. So that's all. Thank you very much for your attendance. And I'm sorry for my network. So please feel free to ask any questions. Yes, um, please ask questions from the audience. Um, we have three minutes. Uh, yeah, if no question, I can ask one like uh, Yao Chen, like I like your, your analogy at the beginning the between uh, make sure fact filling the matrix and the, the literally filling the blank. Um, so therefore I wonder because you, I, I felt like you, you can perform similar 
task as a sequential recommender system or session based recommender system. You know, I, I would very interesting to see how this uh, your model compared to like for example transformer model. Um, like if, for example, you you can hold out some uh, just play the matrix like a sequence. Uh, therefore, you can compare uh, your model with transformer models. Uh, I would be interesting to see whether is VAE better or transformer. Uh, currently, they are just running in different use case or track. Uh, I don't think anyone compare these two together, but I think your model has the capability to compare. Uh, yeah, I understand the question. And actually, our recommender system is an offline recommender system, which means that we actually don't have the temporal information. For example, whether user uh, purchase item one first or item two first. So yeah. we just uh, fitting this matrix. However, the session based recommender system, as far as I know, uh, should require some temporal information for the, sequ the sequential behavior of the user. So actually, our method uh, cannot be directly used in session based recommender systems. However, actually, we are um, currently extending our work. The MDCV model to session based recommender systems because the first layer of the transformer or the RN based uh, session based recommender system can also be viewed as you know latent item variables. So we can also incorporate item count information in these uh, weights so that you know session based recommender system, the interaction in each session is very sparse. So it would be rather good if we can use item count information to help us to support the recommendation. So our model actually cannot be compared with the method that you mentioned in the current stage, but we are working on it, yeah. Oh, thank you.